Well, where do we even start? We start by trying to get rid of that horrible light behind me. Anyway, um, England, South Africa, World Cup semi-final. England dominate most of the game until the last 10 minutes or so with the box of a late rally and win it by a point to book their place in the World Cup final. England 15, South Africa 16. I don't think many people at all expected that. England came out flying out the blocks, getting, you know, three penalties. No, not three, four penalties in the first half. You know, mental. The box, for a better word, shit themselves. I think was kind of what happened. England start strong in the box, shit themselves. You know, blooming Libok went off after like 30 minutes. Um, You know, I think by 50 minutes they changed all their backs. Or, or they, the backs came on. Willie LaRue and... Um, what's this? Faf de Klerk came on. That's early. Especially 30 minutes for your fly half. Like, the box pa were panicking. Um, Owen Farrell then kicked a drop goal in 53 minutes to put it 15 points to it would have still been 6 at that point um, now Libok got a penalty and Pollard got a penalty in the first half so it was 12-6 at half time I've jumped a bit ahead of myself there then Owen Farrell got a drop goal early-ish in the second half which put it to 15-6 going in, you get till about, what, the 69th minute, so late, late on, it's still 15-6, England are still looking strong, and then finally, the box had been starting to build steam throughout the second half, their, their scrum, especially by the last 20, took over, they got like, four or five scrum penalties in the last 20 minutes, like, the scrum won South Africa that game. Absolutely phenomenal scrumming from them. I know people aren't happy with the referee, and I saw nothing wrong with it, to be honest. As a neutral, I saw nothing wrong with the refereeing from either, towards either team. I thought it was actually fair. Um, I thought the English scrum just got dominated that much. Um, which, when you're facing the box, is a possibility. Um, but the scrum won the box of penalty. They got a line out deep in the England hat, um, 22. They drove off the line out. England just managed to hold out until RG Seinman in the 69th minute cut a beautiful line. I know people are slandering Vanapola, I think it was, but even if he had him, there's no stopping Seinman, the monster that he is, on that line from that distance. No one could stop them, no matter how good the tackle is. It was a, br it was a very well taken try from him. Pollard converts putting South Africa, what, 15-13 behind with 10 minutes to go. Then, you know, a bit of back and forward, um, couple, another couple of box, scrum penalties, and then on the 78th minute, the box get a scrum on the halfway line and win a penalty from it. Pollard kicks the penalty to put them... 16 15 up with like two and a half minutes to go and the box just held until england dropped it and the box won what a... i would say what an entertaining game but from entertainment it wasn't you know it was a very nervy game that's what I'd, I'll, I'll fair play to england i i said i thought south africa would dominate I'll give credit where it's due. England did step up a bit. I still don't think they were that good. But they stepped up well. Um, now South Africa, I think, have a few questions. Because some of South Africa, especially in that first half, they were not at it. They really were not. Um, They, they couldn't see... Neither t team seemed to be able to hold the ball. And there were silly penalties from both sides quite frequently. It wasn't until late in the second half when the game started to calm down a little bit on that front. 
and even then the, it still had its moments. Um, you know, nervy wise, it was definitely a semi final, but I think that for the amount of mistakes, although to be fair, I would imagine the nerves probably had a good play in that. Um, yeah. Um, something that shocked me actually, I wanted to mention was why the box they were playing one pass rugby. And it's like, you know, the couple of times that they did get it to Colby or Orden, say, early on, they were getting through the defence. They were putting in decent kicks in behind and it was almost working off. I think if the box had keep kept at that, they probably would have scored another couple. Because there were those moves that if you put them in enough, eventually they'll start working or one or two will go through or kick a bounce or you'll get a, a good bounce or something and there you go, you've scored. Um, but... No, South Africa played well, they managed to come back, grind it, ground it out well. I know a lot of people might get give me pelts for this, but I think after the way they managed to grind it back and wrestle control of the game, they do did deserve to win it. Um, I think England managed, England did what they should have done. They, they built a wee lead, you know, they were 15-6 up. That's a solid wee lead in a semi-final with 10 minutes to go, 15, 10 minutes to go. And they just started to try and tighten the clinch on the box. But fair play to the box for breaking that clinch wide open and, and um, managing to claw it back themselves. Um, yeah. It was a solid game, to be fair. Um, now, South Africa going to the final to play the All Blacks. I'm not going to preview that game, but South Africa did look quite tired in that game, and that would and that was a tiring game, and they looked still quite tired from the France game. Will they be too tired to keep up with the All Blacks? If we'll have to wait and see. I will not talk about the final yet. That will be for later on next week. Um, England play Argentina for third place, so we'll see there. Um, yeah, we'll see if it'll be a repeat of the pool stage game between the two of these, or will Argentina get their revenge? Again, I won't talk too much about that game, that'll be for the tail end of next week. Um, yeah, solid game. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what next week holds. Um, again, still, didn't quite live up to the quarters, but... To be honest with you, I doubt many games at all in the next 10 years will live up to, especially the France, Ireland and New Zealand, no, the France, South Africa and New Zealand, Ireland. I don't think many games in the next 10 years will live up to that. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on the game. If you're an England supporter and you, and you felt like you were done dirty or, you know, you felt like you didn't do this or you did this well, or you're a box supporter who's happy. Um, I know I get quite a few box in my chat, um, and I would imagine you guys will be buzzing. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. We're getting there to the 100. I need your help though, if you've not already, please do. And until next time, I shall see you legends later.